Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this webinar, which we will focus on support and qualifications that can support you your, with your current courses, your staff, and your employers that you are working with. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Janice Spencer, and I'm the Further Education Manager for CASH and NCFE, and I manage a team of account executives across Scotland, Ireland, England, and Wales. Throughout the webinar, I will provide you with details of the selection of qualifications for both our, N our health and social care and childcare portfolios, which can be used to help give your learners the edge when entering the next step on their learning or career journeys. If you would like, me, if you would like to ask any questions, please could you save them for the end. You can type them into the sidebar and we will come back to you. If I can't give you all the answers today, everything will be sent out to you. The qualifications I will outline are short and fundable and perfect to combine together or deliver individually to supplement a learner's current programme, staff, CPD or support your employers. What's more, the vast majority of qualifications are ideal to give you lots of different opportunities to work with different groups in the community who you may not already be working with. So welcome. We have at Cash NCFA, we have a wide range of portfolios with an exceptionally large amount of qualifications. We have a variety in our early years educator starting from level two up to level three. We've also brought in a lot of quality that's now up to your level four and your level five. Again, that's very similar to your children and young people. We offer a range of qualifications in support and teaching and learning. Our health and social care suite is expanding. We also offer health, which we use a lot with the National Health Service. We have a wide range of apprenticeships. Some are a standard and some are a framework at the moment. We are one of the unique awarding and bodies that's still working in play work. Although it may be small, we still like to work with that niche market. And for those of you who are not aware of, we have been awarded to deliver the technical qualifications for early years and education, which is fantastic news for you who work, currently work with us, but also for the company. It's a really, really exciting time at the moment. So how can we give you the edge? How can we make you stand out as a company and for your learners to give them what they actually need? When we develop a qualification here at CASH and NCFE, we are very much industrial focused. And what that means to you is we are always current. When we are delivering qualifications, we work with sector specialists. We'll work with your employers. We will work with the National Health Service. We will help, we will work with lead bodies in the industry to develop what's right and what's current. And we will review them and we will change them and update them. And that's because that is what the sector tells us. So we love working with you and we love working with the org with large organisations, with the government to get what's right and what's fit for purpose. We often look at your funding. So we look at the AB and EFS. We will look at standalone units, bundles, qualifications that again fit in with what you require. We try to offer a very flexible delivery, so we will offer taught sessions, we will have we do have workbooks, we have blended learning, we have a variety of online and long distance. So we offer quite a unique package for our adult education budget and our EFS, which is brilliant for you because we can work with you. What we're also very much into looking at is learner focused as well. What works best for them learners? And we use that often to influence, we 
we do it to influence the industry and the industry influence us on what is right and what is fit for purpose. And that's really important that we are, deliv we are developing the right qualifications for your learners, for you to be able to deliver what we actually need. So I'm going to a bit later on go through quite a range of courses in our health and childcare sector. Now, we like to support you and help you to be able to do this. Some of these courses will be suitable for you and your staff as CPD. You can use some of these courses with your stakeholders. So, for example, if you're working with day nurseries, care homes, you can actually use them qualifications to be able to enhance their learning skills, to work more with your stakeholders, to give them the opportunity to do up and current courses. Some of these may be additional courses, so you may want to add them along with your health and social care full-time provision. You may want to add them to your part-time provision, to your adult learners as additional qualifications to help them stand out a little bit from the crowd, to make them unique. So when they go for an interview, they have additional qualifications that will enhance them in their new job roles. So they could be just standalone. It could be used just clearly as a CPD. It may be somebody who's really interested in that subject or sector and really wants to learn that little bit more. What is great for our customers who are working with cash and NCFA all of your centres will have a named account executive and this is part of the team that I manage. These account executives are experienced. They will be able to support you and guide you. They're really like an additional member to your curriculum team because they can help with your curriculum planning to support you, to tell you what's right, what's current, what's coming out, what we've already got, what works in other areas and we can support you by doing that. We have an amazing customer support package and lots of our customers come to us because of this package. You can pick up the phone and you were able to speak to a real person and they will be able to support you with your needs. What we also have here, which is very unique and different, is we have um, qualification specialism. We have the experts who can support you we can develop qualifications that you tell us that you need and require. And what we are doing more and more and more is we're looking at resources. We want your learner to have the best experience they can. And by that, we want to give you, you the resources to support your staff to be able to deliver that unique experience, whether it's something we've got or whether it's something one of our partners has got to be able to help with your delivery to make it fun and enjoyable. So I'm going to take us have a little look now at what we can offer in our health and social care qualifications. So I'm going to start with a nice little award. The award is really quite small. Learners can actually do this from 14 years. So it can be something that they can be looking at doing as part of if you've got a group of school leavers or if you've got a group, if you're working with a school and you want to start to work with them a little bit more, you could bring this qualification in. This qualification, the Level 2 Award in the Prevention of Control of Infection, has got 70 GLH and the total learning um, time 70 hours. It's got three mandatory units so it's quite nice it's quite small you could use it as well for any of your providers so if you are working with anybody in adult care night care assistance anybody support workers supported living residential domiciliary care daycare settings this qualification will enhance all of them learning skills 
So highly recommended one really and very, very popular. The next one that we're going to talk about is our level two certificate in understanding safe handling of medicines. This qualification, you need to actually be 18 years to deliver this. It's lovely, it's got four mandatory units. This is knowledge based and it will be internally assessed by yourself. We're finding a lot of the care homes, domiciliary care, particularly like their staff to have this qualification. It's not a quick fix course because it's got the four units. It covers them in lots of different aspects of dealing with them, handling the medication. So it is one we would highly recommend that the staff do because it will give them that underpinning skills to be able to do the medication on the morning and evening within their job roles. Again, this is a lovely qualification. This is just a certificate. It's a little bit bigger. It's got four units and you can deliver this from any learner from age 16. So you could be looking at delivering this qualification in dignity and safeguarding, adult health and social care for, me, for often your second, your second year learners. So they could be on a technical qualification. It could be they could have done an apprentice with you. So this is a great qualification to add on about this time of the year for the learners who are actually finishing the courses. Again, if you are working in the industry, if you are going into your care homes or your assessors are, this is an excellent one to offer them to be able to deliver. It's got 145 GLH. The one below it, the Award in Awareness of End of Life Care. This one, again, is very similar um, to the one above it. It is very popular in your care homes, residential, hospices. Some of the hospices, particularly like all of their um, staff, to have this qualification. So if you aren't currently working with them, it's something that you could actually start to look at for your, with your employers really. It's a really lovely qualification. It's actually only one unit. It can be delivered quick and fast. It's only got 30 um, total quality time, um, qualification time to deliver it. And it is definitely worth looking at as an additional qualification for any of your learners or any of the industry stakeholders that you are currently working with. Right, we're going to have a little look at um, the level two certificate in understanding behaviour that challenges. This is one of our most popular qualifications. It was new. It was brought out because we were asked to deliver to make, to develop it really because there was a need. Now this particular qualification, we've had all college staff on this qualification, and that's because working with young people can be difficult. And it's understanding their behaviour and how we can support them. So it's been very popular as a CPD qualification for all staff in schools, colleges and universities. And this has been used with security guards. It's been used with IT. It's been used with the receptionist. So it's helping them to be able to communicate with the behaviour that challenges. So although we've got it under our health and social care qualifications, this is one that is really diverse and it can be delivered across health and childcare. And we're finding this is one of our 
most popular. We have actually, um, some of the colleges are actually working with a lot of the football grounds as well to be able to deliver this. So working with academies as well. So a very, very popular one. Certainly worthwhile having a look to see what, if you just want to use it within your business, one of the most adapt adaptable and diverse quals we've actually got. Another qual that we've looked at, we're going to look at a little bit, is the Level 2 Certificate in Falls Prevention and Awareness. Again, this is very much connected to um, care homes, domiciliary care, working with vulnerable adults and children. And it gives the learner the underpinning knowledge to be able to um, help to prevent the falls and awareness of how to have a safe environment. This is uh, 118 GLH. It's got four knowledge units only units and you can deliver it from learners of 16. So it's great if you're doing apprenticeships and they want to do an add-on course or the staff have passed their apprenticeship six, seven years ago. A lovely quality is to be able to deliver. So I'm now going to have a little look at your childcare and early years qualifications. And we're going to start by looking at the Level 2 Award in Promoting Food Safety and Nutrition. And this is in Health and Social Care and Early Years Child Care Settings. This is really short. It's only got two units. It's around about 20 hours for the total qualification time, about 15 GLH. So there is a little bit of work that the learners can do independently. I found in the past this is great if you were working, if you've got any of your learners that were wanting to work in the day nursery, school. It gives them an understanding of how to promote food safely and starting to look at nutrition, what is healthy. So a fantastic little course. And you can do this one from being 14. So again, if you've got learners in from school who are going to be in for a week induction and you want to, them to, to get a feel of what them learners are like or to give them an insight into the industry, this is a great little award that you could use with them learners. I'm now going to go on to your Level 3 award. This is really quite an important qualification, especially if you are working with young people, children, child-minding. It's only small. It's only the award. We do have other qualifications. I believe we have the certificate. This is um, only eight hours, so it can be delivered as a day course, and that's usually what it involves. There will be some skills, which are the observations you'll see when you're actually um, delivering the course. There is the knowledge aspect as well, and it's really, really important that your staff are trained offset like it. it is, you always have to have somebody within that setting trained in your paediatric first aid, so this course is actually perfect for that. Um, I know in the past it's been added on to um, support and teaching and learning qualifications and it's been an add-on for your full-time provision. So if you've got learners who are on your technical level three or your level two programmes and you want them to stand out from the crowd, again, this is an excellent qualification for order, in order for you to do that. The Level 2 Award in Support Individuals with Learning Disabilities. This is absolutely an amazing little course. It covers us in all aspects of working with learners with dyslexia. It helps you to be able to support them so you're actually catering for their needs. Because as we know, every individual is very different and has different needs. 
This course is great for any of your mentoring staff in your colleges or schools. It's a great qualification to add on to your counselling courses. To any of your support staff in your industry would benefit from doing this particular qualification. It's 88 GLH, so it's not too big. But we do have very support materials that will help you. I'm also now going to talk a little bit about your level two certificate in understanding autism. This qualification is a really popular one. And again, we will have full colleges who are training all of their staff throughout that college on this particular qualification. And the reason why they're doing that is learners will have autism. We need to be know we need to know how to communicate with them, how they think, how they feel. They are an individual and everyone will be very different and we want to make sure that we're working with them as best as we can. So this particular qualification can be used again to enhance all the staff in a school, to enhance all the staff in a secondary school and a college and a university. So if you are working with the stakeholders in them aspects in that field, you could go out to them and offer to give them this qualification. It's a certificate, it's funded. You can use it out of your adult education budget, your EFS budget. So it's really, really popular. And you are really enhancing your CPD for your staff. You are giving, you, you're making them feel valued and wanted by undertaking a course that is really going to help them to work with people and children with autism. And finally, I'm briefly going to go over our Level 3 Award for Special Educational Needs Coordinators in Early Year Settings. We've really thought about this qualification and we've had a lot of centres ask us for it. And by you asking, we listen. And for that reason, this is how this qualification was developed. A lot of your early year settings, you now need to have somebody who's the coordinator for them special educational needs. This has two mandatory units. Again, the award isn't very big. It's only got 24 GLH but it's a great qual to add to your support and teaching and learning whether they are on a level two or a level three qualification it's great for learners who you might have had in the past who've actually done them qualifications it's great for people who are working in day nurseries it really enhances what they're actually doing and it's a great qualification We're now going to look at the Level 2 Certificate in Understanding Children and Young People's Mental Health. Again, I know I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit, but this qualification is absolutely brilliant for, train, for CPD for all of your staff. In today's society, we have lots you'll have seen on the news, in social media. There is lots of mental health issues and we need to be able to support them young people to give them the right to help and support them so it's right for them so that we can support them and mental health issues is high on the government agenda so again we have had whole college staff doing this qualification we have had school staff who have been desperate to do this qualification, you can add it onto your existing qualifications as a standalone. Again, making your learners unique in that marketplace so they've got a little bit 
of extra qualifications that when they go for an interview and sat next to somebody else who hasn't got it, it gives them a better opportunity to gain the job. So a very, very popular one at the moment. Again, we have had um, security companies use it. We have had um, staff at work in the college who were on the reception to do this qualification so that they can actually speak to the learners so that we can support them and to cater for their needs. I'm now going to go on to a level three award in preparing to work with um, home-based childcare. This has always been really popular and it did used to de be delivered a lot by the councils in some areas it still is but it's what you can actually do if you were working in a, as a training provider or an FE college. It's only short, it's got um, it's around about 50 GLH. It's great to give you the underpinning knowledge to work with registered childminders, to be a childminders um, assistant. If you've got learners who are wanting to go and be nannies and work in the community, this is another great one that you can actually use. And we actually collaborated with uh, Percy to develop this qualification because we really value um, the qualifications that we do and we wanted this to be right for you and for your learners. So I have tried there to give you a bit of variety. They are not the only courses we've got. We are really lucky that we've worked in the industry across the sectors for over 10 years now. And because of that, we're able to look at what's current and update. So we have a vast range of qualifications, not just these ones that you can actually look at. Um, on our qualification hub and you'll be able to see what others you can add on or use in a very, very similar way to this. I'm now going to talk to you a little bit about our CASH alumni. This is something we're really proud of. Um, we've got on the alumni learners and staff who've been with us for a long time who are on here. I'm hoping that by now a lot of you are actually familiar with the CASH alumni. It is our online web service and it's actually been, de been designed to support current and new practitioners with their learning and continued professional development. So on there you will see that there is various articles from our sector experts. It also gives your learners career information and you and guidance and letting you know what's the right qualifications for the right learners and for the right jobs. It has actually got on their CPD and it has got job searches so we can work with companies as well to put the jobs on there to go to our learners, your learners. We put the web address on there, so you've you've actually got the web address. Now, it's packed. There is just so many different tools and resources that you can use, your learners can use. You can print off various articles, which are current, the sector related, they are up and current, they've got news updates. We will have qualification finder features so as we develop new quals and we ask you to help us we also have the new quals that are coming on board so it keeps you current as a whether you're a provider and um, whether you work in a college whether you're an independent provider whether you work in the sector it's a it's a really great um thing that you can be involved in if you don't have to, you don't have to be current or a past cash learner to register, we encourage you and all of your learners to sign up. And what is great at this moment in time is complete, completely free for your first year. You don't need a credit card for your details to sign up. 
basically if you go on to the web link that we've included and these slides will be sent to you so you will have that if you if you click on that you can go through so if you are delivering the courses in a college or independent training provider you can offer that free to all of um, your learners and it is also free to you as a member of staff to be able to do that so there will eventually be charges but as i say it's free for the first year so please don't miss out try and enroll now while we've got the free membership offer so looking at our future what we like to do and why we develop what we do and why we are working now on the T levels and the future of early years health and social care. We, we like to work together, so we are there to work with you. We do offer an exceptional service. This is what we are told, that we are one of the unique award and organisations where you can actually pick up the phone and talk to people and they will actually help and support you. We like to be investing in the future of learning. So we are current and we work with National Health Service. We work with PC. We work with children in need. We have a vast amount of stakeholders that we work in, with and we invest in. Everything we do is the learners are at the heart of our qualification and development and we like to do what's right for, for your sector. We are strong advocates of the technical and professional learning. So we now can offer you qualifications from entry, level one, level two, level three, level four, and level five. So we offer a vast range of qualifications to suit all of your learners' needs, to suit all of the industry needs. And we love nurturing achievement. So we work strongly with you to support your staff because we want what's right for the industry. So we can and we will help you. So if you want to, to start developing big sport qualifications to suit you and your learners, we will support you to do that. You, every center has a named account executive who is happy to come out. And I always think of them as being an addition to your curriculum staff because they can help and guide you in the right direction. So we can provide you with um, tailored support for your centers. We also offer non-accredited qualifications. So if you have qualifications that you want to be accredited, that you've designed, that aren't like any of our other qualifications and you think there's a need, also talk to your account execs about that because, again, every setting, um, every provider is very different and we like to work unique and in different ways with different people. You can get in touch by email in our marketing department. So contact your account execs, the marketing department, our customer service support are all there to help and to support you. So we do try to give you a lot of support here. We will, after this um, webinar, send out the full slides and an email after this to help and support you and if you do need further guidance please feel free to ask them so there is we are going to have a little look for a minute i'm just going to go offline i'm going to have a look to see what quali what questions you've asked because if you have got the questions there we do want to help and support you so i'll just quickly go offline so i can read a few of the questions and i will come back to you in a minute
Hi, we've actually only got one question and it's somebody who's not sure who their account executive is. Um, we will individually um, email you that out so that you're fully aware because obviously we do want to support you. Um, one other question um, that well, somebody's just put on there, please feel free to write any questions. If I can't answer them now, um, we will get back to you, um, as I say, at the end of this. And it was just, where can we find your specifications? Someone's just asked. And they are on our NCFE Qualification Hub. So if you go on to Google, put NCFE Qualification Hub, you will be able to access them there. Right, I'm going to say thank you ever so much and we do appreciate it. There's, there is an odd question which is quite unique to individual centres, so we will get back to you regarding all of them answers. We'll come back to you directly because we do want to support everybody. So thank you ever so much for joining us today. I hope you found it useful and we're really, really looking forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.